Hey, welcome to a new video. Today we will look at the most iconic liveries in automotive history. You'll see and learn about the legendary Golf, Martini and three more liveries, so stick around and watch the full video. Keep in mind this is only part one, so recommendations are welcome for the next episodes. Also, if you don't want to miss future episodes and you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Let's start with the livery of an oil company, Gulf. Yes, Gulf was a global oil company until 1985. The livery is one of the most recognizable in the world due to the simple yet outstanding color combination and all the motorsport success, including three Le Mans victories. This iconic liver was first made famous by the Ford GT40s that defeated Ferrari at Le Mans in the 1960s. Since then, there have been plenty of race cars wearing the livery, including some legendary machines like the Porsche 917 in the early 70s and the McLaren F1 in the 90s. The Golf livery is an evergreen part of motorsport history. Its recent appearance in Formula 1 is the best testament to that. I hope we'll always see some of the latest race cars rocking the iconic blue and orange golf livery. Enjoy this compilation of golf cars. Martini. This livery also has deep roots in motorsport history. The story of Martini racing starts in 1962 with two Alfa Romeo Giuliettas. Then in the 70s, Martini branded Porsches won at Le Mans in 1971, 76 and 77. The distinctive dark blue, light blue and red stripes on white were also seen on Porsche factory RSR turbos, 935s and 936s. In 1982, Martino Racing sponsored the Lancia Rally Team. Lancia's success in WRC made the Martini livery even more popular amongst car enthusiasts. It became one of the greatest, most well-known liveries in motorsport history. Throughout the years, it had some different base color variants like red, black, blue and green. I think for most petrol heads, like you and me, the simple white base remains the most attractive. Similar to Golf, the Martin livery is also old school yet timeless. This one got featured in Formula 1 2 a few years back. Get ready for some old school symphony. Rotmans. This blue, white, red and gold livery of the Rotmans Tobacco Company became famous on Porsches in various competitions. Just like most other liveries on this list, the Rotmans livery was used on different cars in different divisions. As I mentioned before, Porsche made it famous in the 80s with two iconic Group C cars, the 956 and the 962. There is more. The Rotman's livery followed Porsche to rallying, so you can see it on the 911 WRC car and on the 959 Dakar rally car. Other WRC cars like the Ford Escort and Sierra were also rocking the Rotman's livery besides the 911. The FW18 Williams Formula 1 car was one of the last race cars to have this iconic livery. Luckily, Damon Hill could win the championship in 96 with the Rotman's Williams. Unfortunately, the Rotman's livery, just like every other tobacco company's livery, got banned from motorsport in 2001 due to advertising regulations. Porsche kind of revived the Rotman's livery when they decided to use this iconic livery without the lettering on their 911 RSR during the 2018 Le Mans and on the recently launched 911 Docker edition. 
listen to some of the greatest Rotman scars. <laughs> Falcon. The Falcon livery is relatively new compared to others on the list. Despite being involved in motorsport for only a few decades, you always know it when you see a Falcon sponsored vehicle. Thanks to its vivid color scheme, the combination of turquoise and dark blue always stands out on the racetrack. Falcon is mainly involved in drifting and endurance racing. In the early 2000s, there were Toyota Supras, Nissan GTRs and Zs sponsored by the Japanese tire brand. Lately, you can see their liveries mainly on Porsches and BMWs on the Nürburgring and on various cars in drifting. The popularity of the Falcon livery is rising. You can easily own a car with a Falcon livery thanks to the multiple cars Hot Wheels made featuring this livery. The compilation of Falcon vehicles is almost equal to the compilation of modern motorsport. Check it out! <laughs> Castrol. Sometimes simplicity is key to a good design. The Castrol liveries are great examples, featuring a little bit of green, red and the word Castrol everywhere. If I tell you to think of a Castrol livery, I bet you'll think of a Toyota. It's because Toyotas had a huge role in making the Castrol livery famous in multiple motorsport divisions. From the dominant WRC Celicas of the 90s to the Tom Supras in the Japanese Touring Car Championship in the early 2000s. Many of these cars were featured in video games like Gran Turismo, which made this iconic livery even more popular. Besides Toyotas, you can see the Castro livery in a lot of other cars in many forms of motorsport. Just to mention a few. Touring cars, Australian supercars, endurance racing, Super GT, DTM and rally cars. Yes, they sound amazing. Listen. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short motorsport history lesson. Which is your favorite livery on the list? Also, don't worry if you haven't seen your favorite, there will be at least two more episodes about iconic liveries, so comment below what you want to see next. As always, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. See you next time.